Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are receiving this error message which says we couldn't sign you in to Xbox Live and the error code is 0x87dd0005. So over here you can see I'm trying to log into my Xbox app and I'm receiving this error message. Now when I click on try again. So over here you can see I clicked on try again and I was able to log in. So here you can see my username. So just click on try again and it should go ahead and help you to log in. But I was lucky I was able to log in. But in your case, you might not be able to log in even after clicking on try again. So the next step you can try, you can go ahead and click on switch account. So click on switch account. Now over here you can see again I was able to log in. So click on let's play and then you can start using Xbox. But still you're facing the problem, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the next step is to restart your computer and then try again so go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to log into your xbox app now still you're receiving the error message in that case you can go ahead and repair or reset xbox app and microsoft store so go to the start menu then click on settings now go to apps and then click on apps and features now in the search box over here you can go ahead and type in xbox And then in Windows 10, simply click on Xbox app and then you will see advanced option. In Windows 11, click on this three dot over here and then click on advanced options. Scroll down. Here you can see the repair option. So click on repair. And once the repair is done, you can go ahead and open Xbox app and then try to log in once again. But still you're facing the problem. You can go ahead and try reset. So click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can again open Xbox app and then try to log in again. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So go to apps and features. And then over here, you can go ahead and type in store over here. And then click on Microsoft Store, then go to advanced option. And then again, first of all, try repair. If that does not work, you can go ahead and click on reset. And then you can go ahead and open Xbox app and then try to log in once again. Now the next step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. For this, in Windows 10, you have to click on Update and Security. So when you open Settings, you have to go ahead and click on Update and Security in Windows 10. Then you will see Troubleshoot option. In Windows 11, click on System. And then you will see Troubleshoot option. Click on Troubleshoot, then click on Other Troubleshooter. And at the end here, you can see Windows Store apps. So click on Run. In Windows 10, you have to click on Windows Store apps, then you will see run the troubleshooter option. Click on run the troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to log into your Xbox app. Now the next step is to close the Xbox app and then you have to go ahead and open Microsoft Store. So if Xbox app is open, go ahead and close it and then open store on your computer. Microsoft Store and then log out and log in. So on the top right here, you can see a profile icon, click on it and then click on sign out. And once you're logged out, again, click on sign in. Select the right account. So make sure that you are selecting the account which you're using to log in on, X on Xbox apps. So select the account, then click on continue. So you have to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with the same account on Xbox app. Now, once you're logged in, you can go ahead and open Xbox app and then try to login once again now now next step is to make sure date time time zone region is correct on the computer so on the bottom right here you can see the date and time so make sure date and time is correct make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time now make sure set time automatically is on over here and in windows 10 you will find set time zone automatically make sure that is also on in Windows 11, you can go ahead and select the right time zone from here. And then you have to go ahead and click on sync now. And after this, you can go ahead and try to log into Xbox app. Also make sure the reason is correct. So you can go ahead and click on time and language, then click on language and reason. And then make sure the right country is selected over here. And then you can go ahead and click on sync now and then try to log into Xbox app. Now, the next step is to make sure gaming service and Xbox identity provider is installed on your computer. So to install Xbox Identity Provider, 
copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. And over here you can see Xbox Identity Provider. Click on Get. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on Open Microsoft Store. And if Xbox Identity Provider is not installed, over here you will see the Install option or Get option. In my case, it's already installed. So install it. And then we will go ahead and uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So go ahead and copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. And then open PowerShell. So go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. And once this is done, you can go ahead and install the gaming service once again. So copy this command this time. On the same window, paste the command, hit the enter key, it will open Microsoft Store and here you will see install option for gaming services. Click on install, click on yes to allow. And once the download is complete, you can open Xbox app and then try to log in once again. Now the next step is to delete Xbox Live login credential. For this, go ahead and type in credential manager in Windows search box and then click on credential manager. Now go to Windows credentials. Scroll down. Now over here at the end here you can see XBL GRTS device key. So you will find either XBL GRTS device key or you will find XBL device key. So in your case there might be two entry or maybe only one entry with XBL GRTS device key or simply XBL device key. So you have to go ahead and delete the entry. So click on it and then click on remove. Click on yes. And then after this, you go ahead and restart your computer. Now after the system restart, open the Xbox app and then try to log in once again. So open the Xbox app after the system restart and then try to log in. Now the next step is to start all these services. So the list is provided in the video description. So go ahead and type in services in Windows search box and then click on services over here. Find IP helper in the list. Here you can see IP helper, make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic, then click on apply. If start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. You can also make a right click and then simply click on restart. Now you have to go ahead and start all the Xbox services. So make sure all these Xbox services are running, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply. If start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. Select automatic, apply, click on start and then click on OK. Select automatic, click on apply. If start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. So make sure all the Xbox services are running and is set to automatic. Now find gaming services. So here you can see gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running over here. If not, make a right click and then click on start. If it's not running, you will see the start option highlighted. Now if the gaming services are already uh, running in that case make a right click on gaming services and then click on stop and then again start it once again so make a right click and then click on start do the same thing with the second gaming services make a right click and then click on start if highlighted if not click on stop and then again click on start so make sure gaming services are running now find Windows update services. So make a double click on Windows update and then set it to automatic. Apply. If start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. Now find Microsoft Store install service and make a double click. Set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set it to automatic. Apply. Click on start and then click on OK. Now after this, you can go ahead and open Xbox app and then try to log in. Now the next step is to uninstall Xbox app, restart your computer and then reinstall Xbox app. To uninstall, you can go ahead and open settings, then go to apps. Now apps and features. Now over here, you can go ahead and type in Xbox app over here. And then click on Xbox and go to advanced option. Here you can see the uninstall option. So click on uninstall, uninstall. And once this is uninstalled, you can open Microsoft Store on your computer. And in the search box on the top, you can go ahead and type in Xbox. 
and then click on Xbox app and then click on install. So go ahead and reinstall Xbox app from here. And once this is installed, you can go ahead and open Xbox app and then try to log in. Now, the next step is to uninstall Xbox app once again. So, and then restart your computer. And this time, download and install the Xbox app from Microsoft website. So copy this link and then, but before you install it, just make sure that you uninstall once again and then restart your computer and then copy this link. This link is provided in the video description and then open this link. This will take you to Microsoft or Xbox website. Scroll down. Here you will see the option to download the app. Click on it and then a exe file will download. Run this exe file and then you can go ahead and install it from here and this will open Xbox app and after this you can go ahead and log in and you should not receive any kind of error message. So you can go ahead and log in and then click on let's play and that should go ahead and help you to get rid of the error. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.